After a month running scared, Kamala did an interview and brought her babysitter. How should voters look at some of the changes that you've made, uh, that you've explained some of here uh, in your policy? Is it because you have more experience now and you've learned more about the information? Is it because you were running for president in a Democratic primary? And should they feel comfortable and confident that what you're saying now is going to be your policy moving forward? Dana, I think the, the, the most important and most significant aspect of my policy perspective and decisions is my values have not changed. You mentioned the Green New Deal. I have always believed, and I have worked on it, that the climate crisis is real, that it is an urgent matter to which we should apply metrics that include holding ourselves to deadlines around time. We did that with the Inflation Reduction Act. We have set goals for the United States of America and by extension the globe around when we should meet certain standards for reduction of greenhouse gas emissions as an example. That value has not changed. My value around what we need to do to secure our border, that value has not changed. I spent two terms as the Attorney General of California prosecuting transnational criminal organizations, violations of American laws regarding the passage, illegal passage of guns, drugs, and human beings across our border. My values have not changed. CNN asked Kamala, why didn't she flip-flop on everything? And she said, no, I didn't. CNN even gave her options. Maybe it was because of this, maybe it was because of that. Hint, hint. No, Kamala denied changing her position on everything even though her campaign spent the last month saying she changed her position on everything. She just said, I'm the same California socialist who ran for president as the most liberal member of the Senate. Her values haven't changed. First, she said she prosecuted human beings crossing the border. Then when she was running for president, she said it's not illegal to cross the border. Then when she was the border czar, she didn't prosecute anybody crossing the border. And now that she's running for president, she wants to build a wall. And her values haven't changed. Okay. Look, this is what she said on the Green New Deal. She sponsored a bill so you won't be able to buy a gas-powered car in 20 years. And then her campaign says she doesn't believe that anymore, even though that's what she did in the Biden administration. Then she makes a huge mistake and admits the Inflation Reduction Act was really just the Green New Deal.